Ogo, my name is Osmafo. I am in W.E.B. Du Bois Center. W.E.B. Du Bois was an African-American intellectual civil rights activist. He did a lot for Africa. In fact, you need to know the history of W.E.B. Du Bois. Follow me and I will let you know much about W.E.B. Du Bois. I am here with Madam Daffy. She will know much about W.E.B. Du Bois. Are you happy yes. to be at W.E.B. Du Bois? I'm very happy. Alright, follow me and you will learn a lot. More a lot that you will learn, you will know about W.E.B. Du Bois. My dear, we are here for what you have for us. We can we can see a lot of pictures on your <laughs> walls. What are the meaning and what is the purpose of this edifice? All right. So welcome to W.E.B. Du Bois Center. My name is Billy. Thank you. Um, I will give you a short break about the place and then you can go ahead and ask me any question you want. Okay. Afterwards. So because of social distancing, please let's be some gap between all of us. Yeah, right. All right. So Dr. Du Bois was born in Great Barrington, Massachusetts on the 23rd of February 1868. He attended Great Barrington High School, Fixed University and Harvard, where he was the first African-American to attain a doctorate. Okay. Yes. Dr. Du Bois was married twice. His first wife was Nina Gorman Du Bois. That's a picture of them. He was oh, wife and his first son. They met when he was a professor at the Wilmer Force University. Wow. And Nina was a student at that time. Okay. So they were married for 54 years and had two children. The first child was a boy, Bagus Jr. Du Bois, who died later, um, in, a year after his birth, from a, a children's kind of cancer. Oh, wow. The second child was Yolanda. She lived until she was 60 years old. But unfortunately, Nina Goma Du Bois died later in 1950 from depression and grief from the loss of the first child. A year after that, Dr. Du Bois married his second wife, Shirley Graham Du Bois. That's a picture of them. Okay. And they lived happily ever after, I guess. Okay. Yes. So Shirley Graham and Dr. Du Bois came here to Ghana in 1961 and died in 1963. Okay. Yes. So when they came here, they lived in this very house. Wow. This home was a gift to them from Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, specially built for Dr. Du Bois and his wife to accommodate them here in Ghana. Nice. When they came here to Ghana, they decided to live in Ghana and make Ghana their home. Okay. Apparently, Dr. Du Bois' uh, African side came from West Africa, but he didn't know which West African country he came from, so okay. he decided to make Ghana his home. His home. Okay. So when he was invited here, he and his wife were more than happy to join us here. So this very space was their living room space, okay. and that very space was their porch. But it has now been turned into um, okay. a reception this area. This was their porch. Yes. Unfortunately, you cannot okay. see. Uh, and this was room. their living room. Yes. Okay. Okay. This very space was their get, uh, yes. guest room, yes. but it has now been turned into okay. a public library. Like, what yes. okay. Can I? Yes. Yes. You can. Oh. So all these are books that he read? No. Or? So I said earlier that this is a public okay, library. Okay, now it is it's converted into it's converted into a public uh, library. Okay. Exactly. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So okay. I can walk in here and read about any kind the boys of or anything we have a, you have a lot of good books yes, that we can we have books based with. on everything since it's a library we had donations coming in okay. uh, we have novels we have uh, religious books we have language books okay. we have history we have literature okay. Okay. we have autobiographies about dr du bois wow no so if i am to uh, read at your library will i pay or it's free okay so it's free to come in here and sit down when you read okay. you can only come here during the working hours okay. which is from 
um, 9 o'clock to 4.30. Okay. Yes. So nice. within that period, from Monday to Saturday. Monday to Saturday, okay. And come and read. And, and, okay. it's, and it's free. And it's free. It's free, okay. So it's a public library. Okay. The government makes sure that it is here so we can okay. learn more okay. about the diaspora. Okay. okay. So we move on to the next room. Okay. okay. They held it here, so that's why they had the platform made. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, but now this place has not been turned into um, a Pan African gallery. Okay. We call it the Civil Rights and Pan African Leaders okay. Room. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, we dedicated this room to African leaders, especially leaders who stood against slavery and made sure to drive away um, uh, slave trades away from their country. So, okay. we honored them by having their pictures on the wall. Okay. So, if you go around, you see pictures of Pictures of first African presidents, Pan African leaders, and prime ministers. Oh, okay. Yes. Nice. So these are first African leaders, right? Yes, please. Okay. Well, then we have only one female. As a Liberia uh, president. Yes, yes, we. Mrs. Uh, Johnson. Yes, we decided wow. to add her. No, he's male. Okay. Yes. We decided to add her because she was the first female president in Africa. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, she deserves to be out there. <laughs> we women need to be, you know, yeah. celebrated. She's not that special. You are right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you can start reading but when you get to the bottom it gets really dark <laughs> but you can go online you okay. can search the nana calls nana uh, calls nana calls okay. yes nana poem calls. from dr du bois oh, okay. you see it and you can read it okay. it basically talks about the struggles of africans okay. and uh, dr kwame kwame being able to accept the diaspora and okay. having him live here he was so grateful for that okay. yes that was their kitchen but we do not add it to the tour because okay. unfortunately everything there has <laughs> so this very room was Dr. Du Bois's personal library. So talk of books that he wrote himself and read himself. Wow. This oh, okay. was it. We have books in every shelf. But we decided, I decided to talk about this very shelf because this shelf holds books that he wrote himself. Okay. So Dr. Du Bois wrote a lot of books. Okay. He, his main profession was being a writer. Okay. Yes. The books at the top shelf, they are titled in Battle for Peace. Battle for Peace. Okay. The right I can't hold it. No, no, you cannot I touch them. Touch <laughs> <laughs> you cannot touch them. Okay. Okay. So those books were special gifts that okay. he gave out to people who came to visit him here in Accra. Okay. So he would come in, he would be sitting in his desk. Anytime you walk in, he will walk on you and then hand you a book. Oh, lovely. Yes. Wow. Wow. For the rest of the books here, he also wrote them. A couple of his books were um, uh, newspaper columns, um, um, Source of Black Folk, which was his most popular book. Okay, Source yes. of Black Souls of Black Folk. Souls of Black Folk. Souls of yeah. Souls of Black Foes. Okay. Whenever you are watching me, make sure you search Souls of Black Foes. Yes. And read much about uh, things that, I mean, the book that Dr. Uh, du Edward Du Bois wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley, we have the 
Voices Home Office. So okay. for here we have pictures of both the first wife and the second wife. Oh, okay. The first wife is on the left and the second wife is on the right. Okay. So Miss Shirley Du Bois, when she was here in Ghana, she acted as the director for the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation. Oh, okay. Yes. At that time, it was the only television station here in Ghana. Okay. So uh, they turned this room, which was supposed to also be a guest room. Mm -hmm. They later to turn it into an office for her so she could work from home. Okay. Unfortunately, when they came here, Dr. Du Bois was about 93 years old. Oh. And she was a little younger than old okay. <laughs> at the same time. Uh, she couldn't move around much, so they had to turn this place into a room home. Okay. An office. So the pictures here of her and some of the um, journalists she used to work with at that oh, okay. time. Yes. So okay. all these people are uh, journalists? Yes, yes. Okay. all of these people were journalists. Okay. They were journalists. Okay. Yes. Oh, so we also dedicated this room to women. We oh. call it the women's room because oh. uh, usually you don't hear the stories of African brave women who stood sure. for, that, uh, for Africa okay. and, fought for, and, okay. fought, and fought the colonialism. Okay. Yes. Aside from um, Yes, yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. we don't really know the rest, but we have such as. We have more, yeah. yeah we have more. We have uh, uh, Ashoko Kofi. Ashoko Kofi, yes, okay. Yes, yes. She also, uh, during, after um, uh, the whites left the country, yeah. she, she was sent by the government to mm. go and invite the rest of Africans who are lost in the diaspora yeah, right. back home. Yes, and she did a really good job with that. Mm -hmm. We also have a lot of other African mm -hmm. women who stood for slavery yeah. around yeah. Africa. Yeah. So you can go ahead and look around yeah. and then. Uh, Madam Duffy, are you enjoying the trip? Yes. Wow. We, as I told you, we are touring, and today we happen to be at WAD Du Bois Center. I am here with Madam Duffy. You know, uh, I told you WAB Du Bois did a lot of things that you watching me need to read. And you have to come here and know a lot of things that our great uh, father did for this continent, Africa. Nice one. So we have a lot to say. <laughs> This, this was the stick that he eats, right? Yes, yeah, this was the king. I was going to get to that. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, when Dr. Du Bois came here to Ghana, he was actually working on an encyclopedia. Okay. It was called the Encyclopedia Africana, which was supposed to be um, contain the biography of Africa, so wow. the whole of Africa. He only wrote about eight countries and then he died. Encyclo Encyclo Is that an Encyclopedia Africa? Africa. Africa. It means uh, African culture or yes. what it contained. Okay, okay. So the book was Encyclopedia Africana. Encyclopedia Africana. A biography for African culture. Okay. A dictionary for African, African culture. Yes. Okay. yes. So unfortunately, he couldn't write all about the, all the 55 continents. Okay. He only wrote about eight countries. Okay. And then he died. Oh, wow. yes. So the eight countries, I, I, if I'm guessing right, contain, consisted of Ghana, Ghana uh, okay. Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Egypt, okay. um, New, Zealand, New Zealand, Botswana, Botswana. and I talk about that. Oh, Botswana, <laughs> you have less. <laughs> Ghana, uh, Egypt, and, and uh, only eight that he was able to yes. write. Okay. Okay. And I wouldn't call it only because we have so much of this particular and not and it wouldn't be easy. Yes, and not growing up from Africa, like you would have to really be knowledgeable to be able to write about yes. this, you know. Yes. So he traveled a lot okay. and from that, I guess okay. he did a really good job. And he did a very, very good job. Yeah. Yes. So here we have his academic gowns from Fixed University, okay. Harvard and Howard. Before he died, he received an honorary from the University of Ghana. He wow. received a doctorate in letters. Okay. So yes, that was his doctorate last. Doctorate in letters. Wow. Yeah, letter writing. Yes, in that very case. In that very case, you see a bunch of his letters and diaries. Over here. Right? Yes, yes. Oh wow. Oh okay. So he, he knew how to write uh, lovely letters. So <laughs> 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 yeah. I can't. He was a writer. <laughs> So, okay. doctors of letters is supposed okay. to present. Okay, that. oh wow, I can see. Lovely. Okay, okay, okay. 
So this was a gift he received from China on China. this. China. Okay. So Chinese started coming to Africa, not today. <laughs> he actually didn't receive it here. He okay. went to China. He went, went to China. Oh, okay. Okay. Then he received it. So meaning the Chinese started admiring Africans, not today. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, on his ninety-first birthday, he received this, uh, this, and the two scrolls at the far end okay. from China. From China. The the inscription on the on the curtain or the gown yeah. is actually has actually been mixed mixed. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, we had a Chinese uh, interpret it, and she was, he was like, it was supposed to read Happy Birthday, not to the boys. Oh, okay. But unfortunately, the letters have been made because okay. they have to put it back. It's been so long, and you know, it is we, falling. Yeah, we it keeps falling. And it, 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 it tells you that Happy Birthday, Dr. Du Bois, in Chinese language. Chong wan chong wan chong 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 Yeah, it means Happy Birthday, Dr. Yeah. Du Bois. So the inscription uh, beside the gown and beside the, the, the image uh, uh, tells you that Happy Birthday, Dr. Du Bois. <laughs> Thank you, my lovely Abigail. You are doing good. Nice, okay. nice. <laughs> so the gown is supposed to depict something about Dr. Du Bois. So everything here means something about Dr. Du Bois. Okay. So wow. the uh, scrolls at the far top, yeah, okay. scrolls are supposed to represent knowledge, wisdom. Okay. Yes. The king is supposed to represent leadership. Okay. 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 The, um, uh, the fruits, I think the fruits are somewhere here. Okay. The fruits are supposed to represent charity. charity. And then the deer is supposed to represent peace. Yes. So okay. this is something that is talking about Dr. Du Bois. Everything that makes up Dr. Du Bois. So he was a brief... leader, he, okay. was, he had wisdom to lead, okay. he was charitable, and he, he fought for peace. So that is what this whole that thing is. That is yes. So wisdom, uh, charitable, <laughs> peaceful, <laughs> and what else? Leadership. 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 I told you you will enjoy the history of Dr. Du Bois. There are a lot that I think my dear Abigail will let us know. Abby, please, uh, we are ready for you. Okay. <laughs> so in this case, we have the awards from. That was the boys received some of them, not all of them actually. So we have the encyclopedia, he came to work on his page here. Oh, okay. Yes. And we have So this is the Africana Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia Africana. Encyclopedia yes. Africana. Africana. Oh, okay. That's, that's the okay. And the, the Encyclopedia Africana of African Biography. Dictionary of African Biography. Okay. <laughs> wow. Lovely. Dictionary of Africa. Okay, so I have to correct myself. It is written uh, the Encyclopedia Africana, Encyclo the Encyclopedia Africana, <laughs> Dictionary of African Biography. Nice one there. You need to come to Doctor Du Bois, man. You will, you will love the place. So lovely. <laughs> and we have some Lenin Awards. Yes, during the time he was still in New York, he worked for uh, the Crisis Magazine. They had their tap sink in because they, they, since they were old, they couldn't be climbing up and down from okay. the top. So they wanted it to be something so it would be easy for them okay. to So, so this is a jacuzzi, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, can I touch it? Mm -hmm. Oh, can I bath or? <laughs> I can't do anything. No. Okay, all right. It's so nice. Wow. Lovely. Okay. Since okay. we are okay. done here, we are going to move okay. to the last half of the talk. We are going to where our late Dr. Du Bois was buried. It is not in this here. He has a different place. And you know, they buried him at a different place. So that is where we are going. Follow me. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so welcome to this mausoleum. Okay. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. So, after Dr. Du Bois died in 1963, he was given a state burial by the government of Ghana. Okay. The pictures here uh, was from that. He was first buried at the Osu Christian Castle. Okay. Um, but unfortunately, he was moved here in 1985. 1985? Yes. Okay. This place was turned into a museum in 1985. Okay. Okay. So his remains were moved here okay. during that time. Because um, at that time, the uh, uh, Osu Castle was the state, uh, the president's home. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you couldn't have visitors or tourists going in there and out because of security reasons. Wow. So they had to remove the place okay. from there to here. Yeah. So they turned this summer hut. Mm-hmm. This building used to be a summer hut. Okay. So they okay. turned it into a mausoleum okay. and then had his remains moved here. This, this box contains the ashes of his wife. Oh, the wife's ashes, okay. Oh. She okay. died later in 1975. 19, she died in 1975. Yeah. This box contains her ashes. Okay. And she died in 1975 from breast cancer. Oh. Yes, in China. Yes, she was taking no treatment at that time. Oh. But unfortunately, she couldn't get treated. So her ashes, her body was cremated and brought back here to Ghana and buried inside her husband oh, okay. that she asked. Okay. Yes. The ceiling of the place is designed to represent the three initials of Dr. Du Bois. Okay. William Edward Baggett, W-E-B. W-E-B. When you put together as a word, word it's, yeah. divine, it's designed as a word. Okay. 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 And the word ref- reflects that Dr. Du Bois, in the story of the Amasi, we know that Amasi is very smart, yes. intelligent, yes. and very kind. Yes. Okay. So we made this to, ref- to reflect that Dr. Du Bois was an intelligent man okay. when he lived, and his legacy will live on just okay. like that. Wow, 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 yes. wow. <laughs> African American intellectual civil rights activist. Correct? Yes. Nice. I told you, do, do you do you the WEB. <laughs> Lovely, I'm overwhelmed. Uh, when if you come to WEB Du Bois, you will, you will know a lot and appreciate the good things that uh, the late Dr. Uh, WEB Du Bois did for Ghana and the whole Africa continent. But I've been seeing some baseball caps. Uh, okay, so uh, these are all from the colleges that Dr. Du Bois went, the okay. universities that Dr. Du Bois went. Okay. Okay. When uh, we were having a lot of people coming to visit, we have uh, them, when they come, they leave the diaspora, when they come, they leave a camp to symbolize that they were also here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we also have flags from okay. Papa Plata, Harvard, okay. Harvard, okay. Oberlin. Oberlin is the university that Sean Graham Du Bois completed okay. from. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that's why you have all of those things okay. hanging okay. around. Okay. Okay. Oh. And uh, you made mention of uh, the, the survivor, the daughter. Yes. Uh, may I know her name? The daughter was uh, Yolanda Du Bois, but Yolanda. she died when she was 60 years old. Oh. So Dr. Du Bois outlived him. Oh. Yes. Oh. So she, even though she had children, got married and everything, mm-hmm. she still died. Uh, Single. No, she didn't. <laughs> she got married. Okay. She had children, okay. children, and then she died when she was sixty years old. Okay. She died from old age, I guess. Okay. 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 Lovely, lovely. Good. We appreciate. May God bless you. Bless You've you. done a great job. Thank May you continue to do all the good things. So, good people, uh, this is our small work. You are watching me from. Or small photos, uh, any of the media that are watching me from wherever you are, make sure you visit Ghana, West Africa. And if you are in Ghana, Accra to be specific, visit WEB Du Bois Center and you will love a lot of things. You need to learn a lot, you need to learn know your history. It is more important. The heat is on, and that heat will forever be on.